सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर टेन विजुअलाइजिंग सॉलिड शेप्स फ्रॉम पेज नंबर वन फिफ्टी थ्री टू पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर टेन टेन पॉइंट थ्री मैपिंग स्पेस अराउंड अस यू हैव बीन डीलिंग with maps since you were in primary classes in geography you have been asked to locate a particular state a particular river a mountain etc on a map in history you might have been asked to locate a particular place where some event had occurred long back you have traced routes of rivers roads railway lines traders and many others how do we read maps what can we conclude and understand while reading a map what information does a map have and what it does not have is it any different from a picture in this section we will try to find answers to some of these questions observe the map of a house whose picture is given alongside figure 10.1 Here on the left side we have a house with a tree next to it on the right side we have the map of the house the tree has also been marked on the map page number 161 what can we conclude from the above illustration when we draw a picture we attempt to represent reality as it is seen with all its details whereas a map depicts only the location of an object in relation to other objects secondly different persons can give descriptions of pictures completely different from one another depending upon the position from which they are looking at the house but this is not true in the case of a map the map of the house remains the same irrespective of the position of the observer in other words perspective is very important for drawing a picture but it is not relevant for a map now observe the map in figure 10.2 which has been drawn by 7 year old raghav as the route from his house to his school here we have a map in figure 10.2 at the top Rakhav has marked my house then there's an arrow which turns in right direction after that it turns in the left direction then in the left direction is marked my sister's school in the right direction is marked my school from this map you can tell one how far is rakhav's school from his house two would every circle in the map depict a roundabout 3 whose school is nearer to the house raghav's or his sister's it is very difficult to answer the above questions on the basis of the given map can you tell why the reason is that we do not know if the distances have been drawn properly or whether the circles drawn are roundabouts or represent something else Now look at another map drawn by his sister 10 years old Meena to show the route from her house to her school Here we have figure 10.3 Specific shapes represent house shop school road and pond Distances have also been marked like half kilometer and 1 km this map is different from the earlier maps here meena has used different symbols for different landmarks secondly longer line segments have been drawn for longer distances and shorter line segments have been drawn for shorter distances that is she has drawn the map to a scale now you can answer the following questions one How far is Raghav's school from his residence? Two, 
whose school is nearer to the house raghavs or meenas 3 which are the important landmarks on the route thus we realize that use of certain symbols and mentioning of distances has helped us read the map easily observe that the distances shown on the map are proportional to the actual distances on the ground this is done by considering a proper scale while drawing or reading a map one must know to what scale it has to be drawn or has been drawn that is how much of actual distance is denoted by 1 mm or 1 cm in the map this means that if one draws a map he or she has to decide that 1 cm of space in that map shows a certain fixed distance of say 1 km or 10 km this scale can vary from map to map but not within a map for instance observe the map of india alongside the map of delhi page number 162 you will find that when the maps are drawn of same size scales and the distances in the two maps will vary that is 1 cm of space in the map of delhi will represent smaller distances as compared to the distances in the map of india the larger the place and smaller the size of the map drawn the greater is the distance represented by 1 cm thus we can summarize that 1 a map depicts the location of a particular object or place in relation to other objects or places 2 symbols are used to depict the different objects or places 3 there is no reference or perspective in map that is objects that are closer to the observer are shown to be of the same size as those that are farther away for example observe the following illustrations figure 10.4 here we have the front view of a road with trees in the next image we have the top view of a road with trees 4 maps use a scale which is fixed for a particular map it reduces the real distances proportionately to distances on the paper do this 1 observe the following map of a city figure 10.5 figure 10.5 here we have a map a river runs through the map water plant park college post office community center hospital senior secondary school primary school fire station bus station cemetery library court police station and lake have been marked on the map a color the map as follows blue water red fire station orange library yellow schools green parks pink community center purple hospital brown cemetery page number 163 B mark a green x at the intersection of 2nd street and Danim street a black y where the river meets the 3rd street a red z at the intersection of main street and 1st street C in magenta color draw a short street route from the college to the lake 2 draw a map of the route from your house to your school showing important landmarks exercise 10.2 observe the given map of a city in this map we have cemetery police station fire station and bus depot at the top of gandhi road then there is hospital locality primary school city park and lake over nehru road 
then there is library market locality senior secondary school and water plant over shastri road city college and community center beneath the shastri road answer the following a color the map as follows blue water red fire station orange library yellow schools green park pink college purple hospital brown cemetery b mark a green x at the intersection of road c and nehru road green y at the intersection of gandhi road and road a c in red draw a short street route from library to the bus depot d which is the further east the city park or the market e which is further south the primary school or the senior secondary school 2 draw a map of your classroom using proper scale and symbols for different objects 3 draw a map of your school compound using proper scale and symbols for various features like playground main building garden etc 4 draw a map giving instructions to your friend so that she reaches your house without any difficulty 10.4 faces edges and vertices observe the following solids here we have the cube the bottom line has been marked as edge a corner has been marked as vertex a square in the side has been marked as face next to it we have a cuboid riddle i have no vertices i have no flat faces who am i page number 164 more figures have been drawn here one is prism one is prism over a cuboid and one is a cube each of these solids is made up of polygonal regions which are called its faces these faces meet at edges which are line segments and the edges meet at vertices which are points such solids are called polyhedrons here we have four images beneath them it's written that these are polyhedrons next to them we have three images it is written these are not polyhedrons how are the polyhedrons different from the non polyhedrons study the figures carefully you know three other types of common solids sphere with a curved surface cone with lateral surface and base cylinder with lateral surface and two bases convex polyhedrons you will recall the concept of convex polygons the idea of convex polyhedron is similar these are convex polyhedrons here we have a cube and a hexagonal three dimensional figure these are not convex polyhedrons here we have a three dimensional eye and a three dimensional star regular polyhedrons a polyhedron is said to be regular if its faces are made up of regular polygons and the same number of faces meet at each vertex page number 165 here we have a cube this polyhedron is regular its faces are congruent regular polygons vertices are formed by the same number of faces the bottom square of the cube has been colored gray then we have another solid resembling a three dimensional kite this polyhedron is not regular all the sides are congruent 
but the vertices are not formed by the same number of faces. Three faces meet at A, but four faces meet at B. Two important members of polyhedron family around are prisms and pyramids. These are prisms. Here we have two images of prisms. These are pyramids. Here we have two images of pyramids. We say that a prism is a polyhedron whose base and top are congruent polygons and whose other faces, that is, lateral faces, are parallelograms in shape. On the other hand, a pyramid is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon of any number of sides and whose lateral faces are triangles with a common vertex. If you join all the corners of a polygon to a point not in its plane, you get a model for pyramid. A prism or a pyramid is named after its base. Thus, a hexagonal prism has a hexagon as its base and a triangular pyramid has a triangle as its base. What then is a rectangular prism? What is a square pyramid? Clearly, their bases are rectangle and square respectively. Do this. Tabulate the number of faces, edges and vertices for the following polyhedrons. Here, V stands for number of vertices, F stands for number of faces and E stands for number of edges. In the first column, we have solid. Second column, we have F. Third column, V. Fourth column, E. Fifth column, F plus V. Sixth column, E plus 2. In the first column, we have cuboid, triangular pyramid, triangular prism, pyramid with square base, prism with square base. Page number 166. What do you infer from the last two columns? In each case, do you find F plus V is equal to E plus 2, that is F plus V minus E is equal to 2? This relationship is called Euler's formula. In fact, this formula is true for any polyhedron. Think, discuss and write. What happens to F, V and E if some parts are sliced off from a solid? To start with, you may take a plasticine cube, cut a corner off and investigate. Exercise 10.3 1. Can a polyhedron have for its faces 1. 3 triangles 2. 4 triangles 3. A square and 4 triangles 2. Is it possible to have a polyhedron with any given number of faces? Hint, think of a pyramid. 3. Which are prisms among the following? 1. A nail 2. Unsharpened pencil 3. A table weight 4. A box Images of all these objects have been given. 4. 1. How are prisms and cylinders alike? 2. How are pyramids and cones alike? 5. Is a square prism same as a cube? Explain. 6. Verify Euler's formula for these solids. 1. Here we have a solid with pentagon at the top. 3. Quadrilaterals are beneath it. 2. Here we have a solid with cuboid at the bottom and a three-dimensional triangle over it. Page number 167 7. Using Euler's formula, find the unknown. Here, we have a table with three rows. In the first row, we have faces. In the second row, we have vertices. In the third row, we have edges. Row 1, question mark, 5, 20. Row 2, 
6 question mark 12 row 3 12 9 question mark 8 can a polyhedron have 10 faces 20 edges and 15 vertices what have we discussed 1 recognizing 2d and 3d objects 2 recognizing different shapes in nested objects 3 3d objects have different views from different positions 4 a map is different from a picture 5 a map depicts the location of a particular object or place in relation to other objects or places 6 symbols are used to depict the different objects or places 7 there is no reference or perspective in a map 8 maps involve a scale which is fixed for a particular map 9 for any polyhedron f plus v minus e is equal to 2 where f stands for number of faces v stands for number of vertices and e stands for number of edges this relationship is called euler's formula here we have an image of few students studying together page number 168 notes this chapter ends here you were just listening to the audiobook mathematics for class 8 program coordinator dr rajesh kumar nimesh narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Shanu Muksim Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India